Mike, let's see if we can get this correct this time, okay? I'm gonna grab over here, and I want you to give me the correct dish this time. That's not a <laughs> that's not a dish either. Mike, are we are we that bad on a budget? Really? Okay, well I mean. Mike, that's a thing of salt, you moron. That's pepper. It's, uh, it's pepper, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. So, what do we got? Is there just a hair in there? No, that's, that's nothing. It's just a oh, shadow. God, I don't even mention that. So, we got two sunny side updates, some little AIDS. <laughs> Stony side aids. Stony side, side aids. With some Gotta crashed love. mananos. And then a, a, a linkage sausage with linkages. Gotta love those sunny side <laughs> aids. Sunny side aids. Bam, I seasoned curries. <laughs> so, what did you some, get? This is called the Ava California Avocado Benedict. Probably. California Avocado Benedict. That is quite a mouthful, but it looks absolutely... Didn't you get that last time? So. At Hash House, it was the fried... It was the chicken eggs Benedict, I think. That's right. Oh, that's, yes. their, big, that's their famous thing, yeah. Yes. I had that last time I went to a Hash House. That's right. Uh, eggs in a bas eggs in a hole, I think is what it's called. Eggs in the basket? Eggs in a basket. Man, sunny side up eggs and eggs in a basket. Got it. We're gonna demolish this real quick and then we'll see you guys at the main event today. Sadly, I'm not wearing the Orlando shirt because it's way too hot outside to wear that thing, unfortunately. But I might have some better designs for you in the future. I might have like different colors, different themes and stuff. Because today, we got something super exciting for you guys. And if you can't tell by the thumbnail of this video, it's gonna be big and it's gonna be crazy. We will see you guys at the park. <laughs> Water. <laughs> you need some water? You need some water? 
I've got it up there for five years. <laughs> Dude, really this is bad. absolutely sick. Just seeing that, where is it? That, that's badass, man. It's so cool to seeing it in person rather than just seeing it in videos online because when you're up close to that thing, it's unreal. It's absolutely unreal. And as you can see, I did swap my mask over, so now I changed it to the proper theming. Now we're in line for the Millennium Falcon. And I'm driving because your boy is a damn good driver. He's shooting. I'm definitely driving because I'm a damn good driver. Um, let's see how it goes. Well, hopefully we get a high score. Hopefully we do good and Brian doesn't mess up on shooting stuff. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Dude, you know what's crazy about this? You could see how freaking massive that ah, this camera's falling in my face. And you could see all the details in this entire ship. Even the landing pads, all the supplies that they had, look at that. All the supplies that they had for the thing. You can see where they did the maintenance stuff up there. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, this is crazy to look at, dude. Now, I don't know if this was one of the props they used. It was like an external piece, but that's just, that's just crazy to look at, dude. Look at this, look at the size of this thing. It's massive. It's bigger than my hand. That is crazy. Are we are we piloting this thing? Uh, are we gonna get to drive the the the? Uh, I think the, the, I'm the, sure the, the, the Silver Eagle. Silver Eagle. Yeah, the Silver Eagle. Know what's called? I got you. Yeah, no, you're right. I think it's Silver, Silver Eagle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Keep your safety masks on, please, when driving the Millennium Ling 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 because you don't want to catch the uh, Black Plague. Yeah. Look what's in the bag. Look, I found merch. <laughs> Not the type of merch we can. Giant ass gun over there. I want a blast. That's a good one. What you talking about? What are you laughing at? <gasps> oh, uh, another Easter egg. Okay, right, so here's something cool. So you guys, you guys see this? See that little Easter egg right there? Easter egg right there. So there's an app that you can actually use to translate that with, and I have it right here, and it says intake. Yep. That's exactly what that is. God damn, what kind of car is that? Like a Bugatti or something like that? I don't even know. That's what it is. Well, if this is an intake, maybe I should, uh... Nope, never mind. Look, I found another one. Let's see what this one says. Dagger toxic... What? Oh, 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 danger. <laughs> Oops. Uh, oh, dang, damn it. Uh oh. Fuel free burner! On!
waiting for. Yes. Come in, come in. I have an opportunity for you all. <laughs> oh, you gotta fix that hole in your wall there, sir. But wow. How many and the flooring and stuff, too. What the heck? Uh oh. Where are we at? Okay, we're over here. Dude. This is so sick. I'm flying. Who's piloting? Who's gunning? Piloting. I guess I'm gunning, too. Right. <laughs> Just the only time. Pilot up front. Gunner's right behind the pilot. Stand side by side. Aha, uh -huh, see? Okay, you are left and right pilot. Just go left and right. Xander, this for you. I mean, I'm gonna... Or whatever that character is called for you. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Wait, what? Do I just keep going? Or... Yeah, that way? Okay, cool. Welcome, welcome right this way, my friend. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Our brand new flight crew. Good luck to you all. Oh, you might need it. Today's flight takes you to the planet oh, oh, Corelli. Okay, you will I'm be piloting. intercepting a first order train shipment of coaxia. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. Got and it. engineers, you harpoon that pressure. Are you the engineers? Yes. All right, oh, into all right. the cockpit. I hope oh, wait, I'll be Tokyo friends, drifting for you. Sure. I'm piloting. I, be coming along. <laughs> I won't crash. Don't crash, please. Oh, hi. this way. For your safety, remain seated and supervise your. Oof. 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 This is. Ow, 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 ow. ow. Don't fire you, moron. So I get? have to push the button. If it lights, if it blinks, I have to push it. Oh, God, this is going to be awkward. Oh, I can't get it. Repair that. Hit your flashing button. Oh, no, 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 no. Flashing button. Push the flashing button to take off. Okay, got it. Close, baby. Come to left. Move your stick to fly right and left. Only swipe right. Steer. What? Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Oh my god, this crazy. I gotta try two things. Okay, ready?
Okay, don't let me drive again. <laughs> uh, I'll fix that later. Sorry. Okay, that. That was stressful. <laughs> I forgot there were supposed to be two pilots in there. I was the only guy driving, and these two guys were gunning for me. And then we had two engineers behind them as well. Boy, that must have been stressful with the engineers, because I, uh, I did not Tokyo drift very well. You can still see the ship just like doing this, <laughs> just swaying back and forth. Oh man, 10 out of 10. That was, that was, uh, that was really stressful. That was a lot different than Mario Kart. Way different. All right, so we just went out to Star Star la 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 la. We just got out of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. We did the Millennium Falcon. Now the only downside of Star Wars Land is that you had to make reservations for literally everything, which is kind of upsetting. So there's a wait time for literally every ride, every shop, every aspect of uh, that whole facility. It kind of sucks, but we'll give it a few minutes, maybe an hour, and we'll head back over there. But we're gonna go ahead and explore the rest of uh, Hollywood Studios for you guys. It's, uh, it's not boring, it's not just Star Wars stuff. It's like okay, Mickey Minnie's soft away. frozen lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Soft. <laughs> Frozen. I bet you I can manhandle this. <laughs> yeah, I know I can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. No. No, not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dope Yoda. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> Alright, so we just got done doing some shopping. I got my buddy a kyber crystal, and I got myself one too. Um, but as we were hanging out in there... Pop the bubble. Pop the bubble. There's a kid blowing bubbles all over the place. So while we were hanging out in there, uh, Brian over here was sitting on his phone the entire time, waiting get on a specific ride that is stupid difficult to get on and guess what we nailed it we got on it and you guys are gonna see what that ride is and we got to go back that way later on this afternoon that's sick it's impossible to get on this oh we're going in here now excuse me it's impossible to get in this ride but we made it in we freaking made it in I cannot believe it. This kid was stressing out so much. He was just like... First virtual queue didn't work, but second time's a charm, I guess. Yeah, we tried it this morning at 7 a.m., but it was immediately taken. And you could not... There's no way around it. But for some reason, I think that the 1 o'clock one is easier to get into. I don't know why, because the morning is impossible. The afternoon one, you have a more likely capability. I don't know, I could be wrong. Maybe it was just the way the day was, but we did it, we got in, but we got plenty of time before we get into that ride, so we're gonna shop around a little bit more. Let's continue exploring and then we'll see you later on for that ride. All right, gonna take a little snack break, gonna have a little pretzel here with some Desanti water. And then we're gonna chow down and then we'll move on to the next one.
Oh my god, what the heck? Is that a Sasquatch? Oh, there you go. There's a robe for you. <laughs> what is in this thing? Look at this thing. What the heck is that? <laughs> I can't remember. Oh my god. <laughs> the weirdest thing. <laughs> That's weird. What the heck? Oh my god, it's moving! <laughs> that is so weird. Alright, so we're gonna try the Falcon one more time. Hopefully uh, we don't freak out and crash the Falcon again. I'm gonna let these two guys pilot because apparently I'm very terrible at it. Yeah, so this time your boy's gonna be the gunner. Let's not crash this time. Eh, hopefully I can do a better job this time. <laughs> Never mind! We're gonna go get the lightsabers. <laughs> Second hand to the Empire, Darth Vader. That looks like the one I have, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. But a little bit less beat up. Well balanced, well designed Jedi belts. Uh, Something mm -hmm. aesthetically pleasing about this one. Right from Journal Lines. We got a saber go. We got a What you got? What you got, bro? Wish I had a box cutter or something. Oh, uh, does it need a blade or something? Wait, I might get it. Yep. Yeah, got you got it. it. All right, we gotta push the button. Hey, Darth Vader's. That. That's badass, bro. Hell yeah. That looks like mine. Except a lot cleaner. A lot cleaner. <laughs> I have a Vader one, as you guys see in the background of my videos. That's much cleaner than the one I have. Feel how heavy this is a little bit. <gasps> this is just... <laughs> That's crazy, dude. I got it. Ah! I'll keep the instructions for sure. Okay, so there's the blade. About a 36 inch blade, which I always like. I like a 36 inch blade. Got a uh, belt clip, so you can put it on your belt and stuff. Definitely gonna use that. Face coverings must fully cover your belt and your mouth. Almost got it. Okay, got it. You ready for this, guys? This is Luke Skywalker's reforged lightsaber. Well, I say lightsaber, but it's supposed to be Rays, but I'm more of an old school fan. I like the Luke Skywalker sabers. So this is pretty, pretty freaking dope. Look at that. That's badass, man. Oh, it's reforged because apparently in the film, this thing got split in half between Ray and Kylo. Like, really? Why are you fighting over a lightsaber, bro? Seriously. But anyway, they basically put it back together, reforged. And this is why it's got all this like detail in here. So it's pretty cool actually, I like it. Because it looks like it's got a lot of history to it than just a regular lightsaber. It's pretty dope, I, I actually like it a lot. It looks more authentic. The first time I ever bought a lightsaber like this, and I'm glad I made a pretty good choice on it because uh, I'm a Luke Skywalker fan. Uh, I wasn't a big time Star Wars guy. But I like collecting stuff like this, and it's definitely something cool. I might actually do a video for you guys of um, damaging the box a little bit, making it a little bit more damaged, a little bit more rugged, put some dirt or something on the box here. It looks too clean. It looks way too clean for this. So I think what I'll do is probably do a video for you guys and maybe destroy the box a little bit more so it looks a little more decrepit. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I, I'm, I think I might actually just do it because it looks, just sounds kind of fun. But we'll see. You see, let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to do a little uh, craft video of uh, damaging this box a little bit. Look at this, guys. That's a badass setup right there. You got a camera bag and stuff. Yeah. Nobody ever know. Don't worry. That is a broomstick. It's a portable shovel. Wait, a portable portable broomstick. Nailed it. So check this out, guys. This is the strangest thing you'll ever see in your life. It's called blue milk. But we're gonna give this a try. Um, see how this thing tastes. I wonder if this is gonna be better than the butter beer from uh, Hogwarts. I never had. Ooh, 
That's good. Oh, it's rice. That's good. That's good. Is it good? That's good. Mm. What does it taste like? If I had to describe it, it tastes like a blue icy. Blue icy? Blue icy. They get or like a slurpee you get from the 7 Eleven or something. Fruity? Yeah, it's fruity. Oh. Not bad, dude. Man, every single day, that guy's just flying over. He's just in a no-fly zone. How long do we have on ours? Mm. 45. That's pretty damn good, man. Go back to that sex scene. <laughs> Is that what he said? I thought he said go back oh, to that scene. Okay. Of course, citizen. Look at the size of that gun. It's bigger than a gun. Hey. <laughs> My name is Susan. <laughs> go win. We're getting in it here, boys. We're going in. Whoa. Is this activating? This is activating. Look at the aesthetics in here. That's pretty badass. I like that. I wish I had that on my computer. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. I gotta get a gun! Come on, open the cage, I gotta get the gun! waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pakara. I'll regroup with you there. Nice. The Resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Remember, it is vital that you keep the location of the Pakara base secret. Lieutenant Beck, one of our top commanders, will lead you. Affirmative. Transport is ready. Nine Numb and I shall personally see them delivered. Thank you, Lieutenant. Welcome to the cause. May the Force be with us. Commander Paul Tapper led a squadron of X-Wings shall escort us to the rendezvous point on Bakara. Roger, this is Black Leader. I hear you're a fine-looking group of recruits. Yeah! Oh, yes, sir! Let's get you on your way to the general. Not last time. Stand clear. Deck door's opening now. Ooh, it's pretty, Al. It looks pretty. All recruits to transport. Don't leave up to your color. Are we blue? Whoa. What color were we? Blue? Green. Green? green. They were green. That's green. That's green. That's green. green. That's green. That's green. green group, you're following me. Let's go. Alright, let's rock and roll, baby. Green over here. Green over there. Gotcha. Here we go, boys. What's going on? Adventure. Transport is away in 30 seconds. No, probably not. <laughs> it should be fine. <laughs> Okay. Report. Red 2, check. Blue 5 standing by. Engage propulsions and hold on. 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 Hold on
Red two, blue front, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed on my mark. I'm looking at benefit now. Black leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. BB-8, what do you got? There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. you think it is what? what oh go down the corridor okay okay Dude, this is sick. I think we're going to be interrogated dude this is badass huh how did we get into this area from where we were at I don't know I didn't see any like train or anything Magic. Hello? Uh oh. Um, you might want to tell him to hide his broomstick, you know? That's from, that's from Harry Potter, right? Yes. Okay, good. We're good, right? This is a, this is a broomstick. Stupid fire. <laughs> Stupid. I know. See, look. How many here? No broomsticks. Stay down along the wall. Single file. How many here? How did we get here from where we were at? We captured you, obviously. What a ridiculous question. Yeah, duh, why didn't you know that? Please stand on that view there. How many? Four. How did we get here? Technically, technically, this is the biggest innovative ride in the world. I'm just like, 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 are you all here really the best the resistance could hope to send against us? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't even put your hollow scanning device down for two seconds. That's fine, you can keep documenting your failures for everyone to see. Gotcha. I'll just stare at my shoes for a minute. These are some nice shoes. What do you know of the resistance? Do you know something? No? And you, do you know anything? Gosh, I think he does. Are we playing clear? Oh, okay. Oh, 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 like oh, on your head? <laughs> <laughs> Looks ridiculous. 
almost as ridiculous as those cheap pieces of scrap metal they carry on their backs. You like this thing? <laughs> blue, there's a blue dot in there. Put sand on it. Sorry. Yes, oh. that's you. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> just like pissed as hell. Well, he was he was not happy with me. He was just like, get your ass inside. Look up there. <laughs> He's a plastic and he calls metal. That's hilarious, dude. Brian, you probably smell like bacon right now. I smell like bacon? Yeah. Hey, dickhead. I got a bruise stick and I'm not afraid to use it. I can't even take it seriously anymore. <laughs> What? He's like, hope you don't fall asleep, or I'll put a rat trap between your legs. <laughs> so, how are you guys doing today? We're stuck in prison right now. Yeah, I feel like I'm. Wait, what? Uh, yes, General. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. Oh, well. Wow. the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He's going for your ass. I don't know what about me, but he's going for your ass. What did I do? Oh, my God. What the hell? What the hell? Here. Right, now we're screwed. This is our five. I just reprogrammed him to get to the Okay. Take this corridor to the turbo list. Then head down to the escape pod base. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Got it. Hurry and don't come. Oh, oh, Recruits, for your safety, stay seated with seatbelt security. Oh, yeah, fastened. Okay. Keep hands on the arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. Got it. <laughs> Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be fine. Prisoner transfer. Don't worry about that. Did it work? Yeah. Good. Yeah, good. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. Look at that ass. We're going this way now. Alrighty now. You're lucky it didn't spot you. <laughs> Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Got it, got it. Uh, hey, you're not authorized. Hey, back up, 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 No evidence. Now! Turn the alarm! All personnel to their stations! The prisoners have escaped. How brave. Bye. But ultimately hopeless. There's no way to run. Abandoned ship! I repeat, abandoned ship! Well, 
There's no escape. You will tell me the location of the secret base. And then I will destroy you. Wow. That's one of those rides where it's super difficult to get on, but when you do, it's going in your brain forever. And now I have documentation that we did it. Wow, what a great way to end Galaxy's Edge. First time here and we somehow got in there. Don't know how, I thought it was literally impossible. Because it is seriously impossible to get into that place. It is seriously impossible because there's a long wait time and there's also a random, like, it's a really random chance that you'll get a, uh, an opportunity to get in there. Super crazy. But when you do, yes, you're the man or you're the woman? You're the <laughs> well, in this case, I'm a woman. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> but it's super, super cool. I really wish the other guys joined us, but at least I can share the moment with them through this camera. I mean, I know it's not much, but I feel really bad that I couldn't bring, or that Xander and, Brian, and Ryan. Ryan, I really wish you would've came with us. You would've loved this ride, but we, uh, we, had, we experienced it for you, but hopefully next time you come here, you come with us and we do it again. Absolutely. Xander, you too, buddy. I'm really sorry, but hopefully it shares you our excitement about it through this episode and Maybe we'll bring everybody here. We can get a whole squad so we can have like some more people to drive the Falcon, first of all, because <laughs> that was a little bit crazy and I apologize for the footage if it was a little shaky, but that was crazy. I absolutely love Galaxy. It's always been a passion to come here and try it. Like I've never had an opportunity to come down here and it's absolutely insane. But with that said, I'm gonna end you guys off here for this episode. Oh wait. We got one more place to go to celebrate that. Are we gonna really do this all day, Mike? Uh, oh, it's up here now. Pepperoni, sausage, spinach, and onions. So it's like a different combo than the last time we got it. Plus, I kind of got tired of the meat lovers, so I wanted to try something different. Yeah. So, we'll see how this is. Well, it's a different combo, so it should be pretty interesting. So does this rhyme? Does the hash house here have the same menu as the That's different. Sure. A little more casual. So they have that like big ass... It's actually a really good combo. Not bad at all. I feel like that's gotta be expensive as shit though. That's a pretty good combo. You basically, you kinda get like the same taste as the meat lovers, but you know, a little bit of onion in there. You don't really taste the spinach. No. You just taste the onion. Which is weird, because spinach is such a light, what, vegetable? Is it a vegetable? 
Well, if you imagine if it was like canned or if it was um, cooked more with like garlic, then you would get a really strong spinach taste. But here, I think they just said like, we're just not gonna put anything on the spinach. We're just gonna like just cook it within the pizza. You yeah. don't really taste the spinach. Yeah. But onions, you can taste. It's a heavy taste. Yeah. Because onions, are onions have a spicy taste to it. So you would immediately taste. I can see right now you could immediately taste the onions on it. Yeah. But it's not as strong as like the spinach or the other ingredients. So and nothing takes over. So it's, it's really casual, and I like the onions on it. You're coming to a close to day two. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was super awesome. I'm glad we got a chance to go on a rise of resistance. That was like a one-time opportunity. And I cannot believe we were able to get in there. That is super, super crazy. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a fat thumbs up. And I'll see you goons in the final episode. I hit a wall. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>